Uh, one thing that we do know, and, and that is with the ultra cold temperature for several days, there are many people in the state of Texas that are wondering about or may be concerned about uh, the power grid. And we want to make sure that everybody uh, across the entire state of Texas uh, hears directly from uh, the head of the Public Utilities Commission as well as the head of ERCOT uh, to know exactly uh, the way that both uh, the PUC and ERCOT are prepared to make sure that the power grid will, will remain up and running very robustly uh, during this uh, very cold snap. Texans have seen the impact of the landmark reforms. We went through an extremely cold February last winter and a record-breaking summer and delivered power throughout without disruption. Uh, these landmark reforms include winterization of infrastructure, both generators and poles and wires. We have more power available than ever before. We've got more backup fuel and we've mapped the critical interactions between the natural gas system and our power generators. Governor, I know that people, of course, are going to have dangerous wind chills and other things, but without the precipitation and some things, it kind of seems like it's less maybe of a threat than it was. Yet people seem to be very paranoid about this and worried. Do you feel like there, there's the trust that's needed in the system, or do you feel like it's just not there? Well, I, th I think the trust has to be earned. Uh, and we earned that trust in part by going through this past summer uh, with 11 new all-time records for power demand and being able to meet that power demand with ease. I think trust will be earned over the next few days as people see that we have ultra-cold temperatures uh, and the grid is going to be able to perform uh, with ease. And so uh, trust has to be earned back over a period of time. And I think that we will show that we can earn that trust. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.